Hey, welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to set up the new Vortex Pro in under five minutes. Now there's a few things we wanna do before we power this machine up. The first thing we wanna do is take off the props. The second thing we need to do is we need to install the included antenna. This is gonna make sure we don't burn out our video transmitter when we power the machine on. Now the Vortex Pro does not come with a receiver, you're gonna to need to supply that. Now it works off of PPM, so any receiver that can communicate on PPM is usable. In this case, we're gonna be using our FR Sky Trainus, and we're gonna be matching that with a D4R2 receiver. Now to get PPM out of your D4R2 uh, receiver, you need to use the jumper included to go between signal wires three and four. It's very important that you make sure before you move on to the wizard, that your receiver and your transmitter are bound. You're gonna notice I have no computer in front of me. The reason is, is we're gonna actually do all the setups through the internal software built into the Vortex Pro. Immersion RC has done an amazing job thinking forward out of the box to make features not only simple, but approachable and very easy to tune when you're out in the field. So we got our ground station powered on. We got everything bound. I'm gonna go ahead and power on my Welcome transmitter. To open TX. When we power up the receiver, you're gonna notice that it immediately starts a wizard. All we need to do at this point is follow the steps of the wizard. You're going to see that we have our channel mapping. Now you don't have to worry about reversing or doing anything advanced. All you need to do is follow the instructions. In this case, it's going to say center all controls. Everything is centered very nicely, except for our throttle. We're going to go ahead and move our throttle channel up to the middle. It senses it. Move roll control to the left and hold. So now whether you're mode one or mode two, we're going to go to what gives us our roll input. And we're going to move that to the left. In this case, since I'm flying mode two, we're going to move the right stick to the left. Return the controls to neutral. Move your all all the way to the left and hold. Return the controls to neutral. Move throttle to the min and hold. Return controls to neutral. Move the pitch stick back and hold. So that's going to be our uh, right stick in this case. I'm going to pull all the way back. Return to neutral. Move the left stick to the back and to the left. Return to neutral. Level the quad and move the right stick back and hold. That actually gave us our accelerometer calibration for flat and level. We're all done. Now at this point, we're gonna get a whole new set. <laughs> Immersion RC has a great sense of humor. After our incredible tune that's played after the wizard is all done, you're going to notice that you have a whole new screen. And if you're wondering why it's still black, it's just because we have the lens cap on. Say hi, Brian. So you're going to see a, uh, a background here. Let's go over the screen and talk about all the great features built in this OSD. We have our, our frequency that we're transmitting on. We have which mode we're in. In this case, when we activate our fifth channel. Acro mode on. You can see that we can switch through horizon acro mode. We can actually go through right through the sticks and change all these things. We're going to save that advanced tuning for a future video where we can show you all the pro tune, how to do auto sense, how to do many, many more features. It's just, it's incredible what's built into this thing. But we're going to cover that later. The important thing is we want to get you flying. Uh, down here on the lower left, we have our, our battery voltage and also how many uh, milliamps we've consumed. Current is in the middle. You can go as high as 80 amps. So it's really important that if you're flying a four cell setup, you gotta have a very high C rating on something that's small like a 1300 milliamp battery. Uh, you gotta fly these things with light and with a high C rating. This is kinda like the Corvettes of the multi-rotors. And on the far right here, we have the milliamps consumed. Let's go ahead and see if we can arm this down into the right. And it does. Down to the left disarms it. We're gonna go ahead and arm it one more time and make sure all the controls go the right way. In this case, when we bank to the right, we want the left motors to spool up, and it does. Bank to the left. Forward, we want the back motors to spool up. And then right, we want the back right and the front left to spool up. And that's good to go. Power this off. At this point, we're ready to go out and maiden it. So we're gonna disconnect our battery and we're gonna put our props on. It's very important that we put our props back on in the right orientation. So when we put these on, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that they rotate inward towards the nose. In other case, the part that produces lift with the numbers facing up, when you rotate it, it's pointing towards the nose. On the rear of the machine, we're gonna to wanna to make sure it rotates in towards the tail, just like that. 
All right, so one thing you're gonna notice when you go out to fly this, it's gonna give you an immediate dial-up. It's gonna tell you how many cells you have, how much your capacity, your battery, um, your, it's gonna give you all the information that you need. Once you go ahead and activate, I strongly recommend that you go in horizon mode until you uh, are comfortable with it. You can then you can start off in acro, get it up, get it hovering, just put on the goggles, and then go have some fun. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk through the, uh, the first flight and see how it goes. All right, so the cover screen went away. I got all my information. <laughs> some amazing power. Now one thing I love right off the bat is the OSD is not inhibitive. It gives you all the information you really need to make sure that you don't overdo it. But at the same time, oh my gosh, it feels great. Now I'm flying in Horizon. Let's turn it in Acro. There we go. <laughs> some insane power. Now this is, I want to say, a beginner uh, quad. Uh, we're going to be doing a beginner series on that. Look for links below when that happens. Uh, but this is an advanced, uh, or, or advanced intermediate to advanced quad. You're going to have a lot of power. If you're fairly new, start off with a three cell. And then go from there. But the board camera is nice. You can change the angle of that. So the more and more you uh, want to fly faster, you can tilt that back further and further. This is so cool. Tree limb. Now we're going to be doing a lot of other videos about this, about ProTune, about advanced settings, about all the different race bands and all the different technology I've built into this. But it's just too much to put in. The biggest thing we want you to do is go out, have fun, fly. Definitely you're going to crash, but you're going to also see how durable this thing is as well, as well too. I just can't believe how easy it is to fly. All right, let's go ahead and bring it in here. So one nice thing about horizon mode is because you have a bank thing, you can go ahead and put it back to where you're level and then bring it in for a landing. Uh, it's very deceiving with your camera tilted back to get level right. There we are. All right, at the end of your flight, you're gonna see uh, your black box reading. It's gonna give you your voltages. It's gonna give you your milliamps consumed, your uh, max amp, your average current. Uh, all this is gonna help feed into giving you a better experience in the air, getting the best flight times, and really learning the needs and the capabilities of your machine. If you guys haven't heard also, when you put this off and to uh, turn your motors off, it gives you a signal to find it. So God forbid you do crash in the trees and the weeds, you can find it very easily. So friends, I hope you're able to get up in the air in under five minutes. This has been a really good experience. First time taking this out of the box for us was phenomenal. Uh, I strongly suggest don't plug it into a computer, follow the wizard, you're gonna have a really great experience. Now another exciting bit of news is Immersion RC is gonna be working with Flight Test to develop a control board that we can drop into our VersaCopter and get all the same functionality and advanced features that you're gonna see in future videos. Our goal is that you can have DIY and an amazing experience through their technology. Friends, we'll see you next time.